Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, it's truly an honor. It's truly an honor to be here tonight. Um, I'm very grateful to the Dixons for providing transportation here. Um, there was a time when I flew on my own. But now a plane is very useful. Uh, the, um, the really extraordinary thing for me uh, has been the journey over the last 10 years. I was injured at a time when there was still great cynicism. I still remember um, so-called experts who would say that the spinal cord can't regenerate and can never be repaired. And there were many rehab centers that were not willing to experiment. The old phrase was, treat them and treat them. And unfortunately, that um, attitude has been slow to change in some places, but not here. This is the leading center in the world. And I remember when I was in rehab that I was invited one day to go down into the basement to try this radical new experimental piece of equipment called an FES bike. This is a bike that you are put on and Electrodes are placed on your thighs and uh, calves, and you can pedal a bicycle. It was not approved by the FDA, and the Kessler Rehabilitation Center Research Fund uh, paid for its development there, but it wasn't even being used over the patient population. Only certain people were allowed to try it, I guess there was some risk of, um, they felt that there would be a risk of injury or that uh, insurance wouldn't cover the cost of the time of physical therapists using it. That was, a, that was really the dark ages and it was only 10 years ago. And then when I think of what Reggie Edgerton accomplished, now, how hard he had to try to convince people that uh, by putting paraplegics on a treadmill and allowing them to t naturally take steps because of the action of the treadmill that they might be able to walk again, he couldn't, couldn't get anybody to buy that idea until finally UCLA gave him a home in the mid-90s. And as of today, more than 500 people have gotten out of their wheelchairs because of that technology. And today I had the pleasure of seeing firsthand where one of our grant application dollars went and is being so well spent to see someone up in a locomat and walking with more and more strength, improving cardiovascular and muscle strength and maintaining bone density, all those things that were such an issue and such a struggle when I was injured just less than 10 years ago. And I feel so, uh, you know, it gets, it gets lonely sometimes to talk about, come on, let's be more progressive. Come on, let's take reasonable risks. Come on, let's try an idea. Let's be safe, but let's be bold at the same time. And 
it's amazing how much resistance there is to new ways of doing things. I see that as I travel all around the country. But there's a saying about Chicago, and I'm sure it applies to all of Illinois as well, but that when the people in Chicago want to do something, they just simply get it done. So when I just realized today that you're trying to raise $50 million, ah, you'll do it. Not a problem, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And I can't think of a better place for anyone with the compassion for you know, fellow human beings suffering from ALS or paralysis or stroke and other conditions you know, you know, to be able to say yes we can make a difference we can get something done because obviously what was so controversial ten years ago the role of rehabilitation that's no longer an issue scientists researchers all over the world now understand that you can't just put some cellular material or growth factors into a spinal cord and expect recovery. That person has to go straight to rehab. And excellent rehab has got to be the very best. And then the idea is now finally catching hold that rehab on its own can help people recover. Finally, I met Molly today. Molly, who graduated from the Locomat program. To sit next to her was just extraordinary. It just gives me so much hope and gives me so much pride that RIC and CRPF, our partners, are working together. The clinical trials network's going to be a big success. We will do everything we can to keep funding projects here as we've been doing since 1992. It is an honor to meet everyone face to face. Those I haven't met, I uh, am connecting with you in spirit. Um, to meet the legendary Dr. Betts in person was absolutely awe-inspiring to me. <laughs> I want to thank Mayor Daly for everything that he is doing and uh, for being here tonight and close by saying that uh, I, was, I was really amused by something Dr. Betts said this afternoon that years ago he went to Mayor Daly's father and said you know we really to put cutouts in the corners of the sidewalks for people who are in wheelchairs and Mayor Daly said well, okay let's do it and Dr. Betts said well what do you mean because um, usually don't you have to form a commission or a study or <laughs> you know go around and measure everything and do a you know, traffic impact study and this and you know. <laughs> no you just do it and thank you for all that thank you thank you very much thank you and congratulations Happy birthday, and uh, here's to the next 50 years of continued excellence. It's been an honor to spend this time with you. Thank you.